2024 might just be SpaceX's best year since its founding in 2002. Musk started SpaceX with an ambitious goal, making rockets reusable and turning humanity into a multi-planetary species. For over two decades, the team at SpaceX has been working day and night to make this vision a reality, but it's only in 2023 and 2024 that we've started seeing significant progress with the launches of the Starship. You might be wondering, SpaceX has been successfully launching Falcon rockets for over a decade now, so why is Starship so special? The truth is, SpaceX was never aiming to be just another company launching satellites into orbit. The sole reason they got into the satellite business, particularly with their Starlink program, was to fund their much larger and more ambitious Starship program. Developing Starship has been an incredibly expensive and complex endeavor, but it's the vehicle that will ultimately allow SpaceX to fulfill its core mission of colonizing other planets. In 2023, SpaceX shocked the world with the first successful launch of Starship. Many had doubted whether lifting off such a gigantic rocket was even possible, but SpaceX proved them wrong. However, the real jaw-dropper came during the fifth flight in 2024. During this flight, SpaceX did the unthinkable. They caught the super-heavy booster midair with the Mechazilla arms, something that no one thought they would achieve this early in the program. This catch is a critical milestone toward the goal of full reusability, saving billions in launch costs in the long run. Just when we thought SpaceX couldn't top this incredible achievement, they recently announced their plans for the next Starship flight, Flight 6. And that's what we're going to dive into today. Before we go any deeper into what's next for SpaceX and the Starship program, be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on all the groundbreaking achievements SpaceX continues to make. We have to understand that if SpaceX's fifth Starship flight hadn't gone as planned, we wouldn't be talking about the next flight now. This mission exceeded everyone's expectations, including those of Musk and the team at SpaceX. They weren't even fully confident about catching the super heavy booster on their first try. SpaceX is known for taking bold risks, but the uncertainty surrounding Flight 5's Mechazilla catch was real. Given the complexity, SpaceX prepared a plan B in case the catch attempt failed. Their backup plan involved either soft landing the booster in the ocean or on solid ground, which would allow for further recovery attempts without risking damage to the launch infrastructure. Thousands of criteria needed to be met for the arms to successfully grab the booster without causing a crash or damage to the launch tower. SpaceX's engineers prepared extensively to manage any possible failure during the catch, such as timing issues or mechanical failures in the Mechazilla system. Fortunately, the Mechazilla catch went smoothly. Sonic booms echoed across South Texas as the Super Heavy booster shut down its engines one by one before gracefully descending. Following this remarkable feat, Musk provided an important update about the condition of Booster 12, which was the focus of Flight 5. SpaceX inspected the booster thoroughly after it was caught by the Mechazilla arms and the results were promising. The booster had only minor issues, such as slight warping on the outer engine nozzles due to high heat and aerodynamic forces during the flight. However, Musk reassured the public that these issues were easily fixable, allowing for the booster to be reused in future missions. During Flight 5, the Super Heavy booster operated for about seven minutes before being successfully caught by the Mechazilla arms. This was the first time SpaceX had attempted to catch the booster mid-air using this system, and the success of the maneuver went smoothly. After about two hours and 38 minutes, the Mechazilla arms began lowering the booster back onto the orbital launch mount, and within three hours of landing, Booster 12 was securely placed back on the pad. Not only the booster, but the upper stage also performed almost exactly as SpaceX had planned. Following a flawless ascent powered by all 33 Raptor engines of Booster 12, the booster completed its mission, and the upper stage took over as expected. The transition utilized a method called hot staging, where three engines on the booster continued firing briefly as the Starship upper stage ignited its own engines. This technique increased payload capacity by about 10% and improved overall mission efficiency. 
Once separated, Ship 30 ignited its six Raptor engines to continue its trajectory, aiming for a suborbital path toward the Indian Ocean. Despite a few challenges during the descent, including minor burn-through on one of the forward flaps, the re-entry system worked better than in previous flights. Ship 30 went on to complete a controlled re-entry and a successful splashdown in the Indian Ocean. This marked a significant improvement from previous missions, though there was an explosion after it tipped over post-splashdown. This mission was pivotal for refining SpaceX's heat shield design, which had undergone more than 12,000 hours of updates and testing before the flight. The results, though not flawless, were encouraging, and SpaceX is using the data gathered from this test to prepare for Flight 6. This successful result has given SpaceX the confidence to move ahead with their plans for Flight 6, which is expected to launch as early as November 2024. This next mission will feature two main components, Super Heavy Booster 13 and Starship Ship 31. These prototypes are being prepped for launch at SpaceX's Starbase in Boca Chica, Texas. One of the most anticipated aspects of Flight 6 is that SpaceX plans not only to catch the Super Heavy Booster again using the Mechazilla arms, but also to attempt to catch the Starship upper stage. The prototypes have undergone rigorous testing ahead of Flight 6. Ship 31, the Starship upper stage, has completed multiple tests, including cryogenic testing and a successful static fire in September 2024. Currently, Ship 31 is undergoing heat shield replacements in preparation for the intense re-entry heat it will face during the mission. The launch trajectory for Flight 6 will likely follow a similar path as Flight 5. The Super Heavy Booster will perform its job of propelling the upper stage to near orbit, after which it will return to the launch site for another mid-air catch attempt using the Mechazilla arms. However, the real innovation comes with the attempt to catch the Starship upper stage. Unlike previous flights where the Starship stage landed in the ocean, Flight 6 aims to have it return to the launch site and be caught by the Mechazilla system, a maneuver that would be unprecedented in spaceflight. Regulatory-wise, SpaceX secured FAA approval for both Flight 5 and Flight 6 under a streamlined process, allowing them to focus on the technical aspects of launching and recovering their rockets. This regulatory approval, combined with the positive findings from the Booster 12 inspection, means SpaceX is gearing up for another landmark mission. For those who didn't see the Starship launch in person, I've got a surprise. You can still experience it with a realistic Starship model made just for our loyal viewers. Since you've watched this far, we know you're one of them. Head to the link in the description to grab yours now and relive space history. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.